I'm gonna try and win the Premier League with a newly promoted club. To pull this off, though, we're gonna need to make some amazing signings. But here's the twist. The only way we can make signings to our newly promoted club is by beating other Premier League clubs. For every win in the Premier League, we get to steal one player from our opposition. The goal is to build an amazing team by stealing players from clubs like Manchester United, City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and then winning the Premier League with them. But the problem is, we're doing this with Sheffield United and our team looks pretty average. Even getting that first win in the Premier League is going to be so difficult. But that's the only way we can improve this team. Looking at this team right now, we're more likely to get relegated. And by the way, if we do end up getting relegated at any point, it's done. Time to pack our bags and we fail the challenge. Our first game of the Premier League season is against West Ham. If we can get a win against them, we can steal a player from them. And you know, I've got my eyes on Declan Rice. This is the best we can do with what we have right now. A five at the back system, our keepers average. Every player in this team is pretty much just an average Joe. But if we can somehow win our first game and steal a player from West Ham, that'll be iconic. Ah, we take the L. We're not stealing a player from them. The fastest way to improve our team is by somehow getting wins against the big boys. Like against Arsenal, if we can somehow get a win here, we get to steal a player from them. But I told you, this challenge is difficult. Honestly, it's looking like we might get relegated right now. And of course, this might be the shortest video in this channel's history. Okay, this is actually a chance to get a win. We're facing Burnley, a fellow newly promoted club. This is it. This is a chance to steal our first ever player, but we end up losing this as well. Okay, this is not going well. Our rodeo in the Premier League has been absolutely tragic so far. We're 19th. If we don't end up winning a Premier League game soon and stealing a player, I reckon we're just gonna get relegated. We're up against Brighton. Could this be the first game we get a win? And yes, Sheffield United, we've managed to win this oh my god it's taken us four games we've won a game but the great thing is we get to steal a player from brighton oh it is time to go shopping at brighton any player they have we can steal him moises caicedo is an option and i'll have our cdm position locked and loaded oh lewis dunk that'll be a really good upgrade for our center back position estupinian not too bad oh they've signed gear Trevita. that would be a good one as well but i think going for anyone apart from alexis McAllister would be stupidity He's just signed for Liverpool in real life. That just shows his quality. And so the first player we get to steal is Alexis McAllister. Finally, guys, we get to improve this team. Uh, Alexis McAllister coming in is huge, but we need to start winning more Premier League games. A draw against Spurs. Uh, so close to potentially getting a player from them. With McAllister coming in, surely we're good enough to get a result against Crystal Palace. We could potentially steal Wilfred Zaha from them. This could be huge. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on. Even with McAllister, this challenge is incredibly difficult. We're 15th in the league, man. Ah, oh, this isn't good. It feels like ages since we've gotten to steal a player, man. Can we get a result against Newcastle against all odds? Yes! Oh my god, this is huge. Newcastle have some ballers. This could be our second big signing. So after a bit of thinking, I shortlisted three players I wanted from Newcastle. Guimaraes, St. Maximin, or Sven Botman. Each of these players would be amazing. But since we just got a midfielder in, we don't really play a formation with a winger. I think Botman is the smart choice. Let's get an 83 rated center back who's just 22. What an upgrade that would be. And so Sven Botman to Sheffield United is a done deal. We've stolen him from Newcastle. Not gonna lie, McAllister and Botman coming in. We should be racking up some more wins in the Premier League. I'm hoping we can do it. With our midfield and defense improved, our next win came up pretty quickly against Bournemouth. And for our rewards, I managed to steal Marco Sinesi from Bournemouth. Even though we're not getting the wins against the big teams against the small teams we're doing okay as we pick up a win against Luton Town. Although from Luton Town we couldn't really steal a good player because they didn't have any. We got a 73 rated Adebayo but I guess it's you know an improvement. Halfway through the season and we've secured four wins and we're 15th in the league. Honestly relegation is still a possibility. With the four players we've stolen the team is honestly not too bad but I think we need to somehow get wins against the big teams because if we can do that and steal a player from City, Arsenal, Chelsea or whatnot. That's how we can, you know, avoid relegation and prepare for next season. We're playing Manchester United next in the Premier League. We need to try and win at least one game against the top six of the Premier League. Get to steal a player from them. Well, it's not going to be Man United at least. Even against Liverpool, we've taken a nail. Ah. While we were having no luck against the big teams, we were still able to get wins against Burnley and Everton. Okay, but honestly, Burnley don't really have anyone that I would even consider signing, so we're just going to ignore this. But Everton have 
Jordan Pickford, and this is huge. This has got to be our biggest heist yet, getting a Jordan Pickford from Everton. Do you know what? This might just help us get a win against one of the big boys. Come on, a win against Arsenal would be lovely. No kidding here. They've got so many players we can steal. This is it. Can we beat Arsenal? No. Nope. Oh, it's a draw. We came so close. I know West Ham are not among the top six, but if we can steal a player from them, they've got so many ballers. I'll be completely happy with it. We can't even beat them. Nothing against Chelsea. Instead, we just got destroyed. We're playing Spurs, and this is our last chance this season to steal a player from one of the big boys in the Premier League. Can we beat them? No, we can't. It just shows that this challenge is not going to be easy. Thankfully, though, in our first season, we managed to avoid relegation. Remember, if we get relegated, that is the challenge done. We failed. If we want to win the Premier League next season, we're going to have to get results against some of the big boys. By the way, over 70% of you guys watching my videos haven't subscribed to the channel. It is my dream to hit 1 million subscribers, and if you guys help me out, we could maybe get there. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. It's time for our second season with Sheffield United, and I do not want to be finishing 15th in the league. The truth is, last season, we did win some big games, and we were able to steal some good players like McAllister, Botman, Jordan Pickford. All it's gonna take, I feel, for us to become a top 10 in the Premier League club is winning like a couple of games against the big boys. Imagine if we can beat Spurs and steal Harry Kane or maybe beating Man City and stealing Holland. Bro, something like that will change everything. By the way, I know you guys are wondering what's up with the new setup. Where am I exactly? Well, so I've basically moved into my apartment. This is gonna be my new setup. It's still work in progress. A lot of stuff to do, but I'll get to it after I win the Premier League with Sheffield. No, 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 it can't be. We've got the perfect opportunity to steal a player from a top six club. If we can win this game against Man United, it'll be huge. Come on. Ah, still the pain. Against the big boys in the Premier League, we can't seem to do a thing. Do you know what? Rather than relying on luck to beat the big teams, I think we need to focus on getting results against teams that we can beat, like Villa maybe or Leicester. With that, we can maybe slowly build up our squad and then challenge the big boys. I see that's the only play. And we're off to a good start as we were able to beat Leicester City. And from Leicester City, we managed to steal Wilfred and Didi. Talk about upgrading the midfield. We also managed to beat Newcastle, but now we've got a choice. Winning against Newcastle, I think, has been crucial because we can now choose between Bruno Guimaraes or Rafael Varane. I can't believe Varane is playing at Newcastle, but who do I go for here? Guimaraes is, I think, the smarter choice, but Varane is tempting. Ultimately, I decided to go for Bruno Guimaraes. I'm hoping it pays off. With Guimaraes coming in, our midfield looks absolutely incredible. As our team continued to get better, we were picking up more wins. And hence, we were allowed to steal Goncalo Guedes from Wolves and Moise Keane from Everton. Halfway through this season, we're fourth in the Premier League. How crazy is that? We picked up some really, really important wins. But what you'll notice is that we couldn't win against the big boys of the Premier League unless we can beat United, Spurs, Arsenal, Liverpool and all. We're not going to win the Premier League. But one thing we can celebrate so far is just how much we've improved our team. Honestly, look at that attack midfield. We've been really stealing some quality players from all the Premier League clubs. But as I said, if we want to win the Premier League, we need to get some big wins and important ones. In this second half of the season, my goal is to get a single win against one of the top six clubs. If we can just do that, that'll be huge. And we have our first shot at literally the toughest club possible, Manchester City. Oh boy, but imagine we win this. We can literally steal a player that's going to change our team. This is it. Can we get a win? No. Uh, even with like 11 men on the field, we couldn't. Man City was a bit too much. Maybe Liverpool can give us some luck. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. We finally won against the top six club. Oh my days. I did not expect it to come against Liverpool. This is the fun part here. We get to steal an absolutely incredible player from Liverpool. Who is that going to be? Wow. Darwin Nunes has become absolutely insane. 86 rated. Mo Salah though. Oh my god, 89 rated, 31 can probably give us another couple of amazing seasons. Oh, I'm so freaking tempted. Who do I go for? The options are endless at Liverpool here. Virgil van Dijk as well? Nah, you know what? My gut feeling says go with Mo Salah. I know he doesn't even fit our formation, but I've got a plan. So we've completed the heist of the century, stealing Mo Salah from Liverpool. Okay, guys, basically what I'm thinking is we need to get rid of this five-pack formation. I don't think it's a system that can win the Premier League. And that's why 
we're rocking a 4-3-3 holding, so we'll really need to make the correct signings and steal the correct players to switch to this system. Honestly, see how good the team looks in this system? All we need is a couple of pullbacks that can do the job, and I reckon we've got the team to win the league. We need to keep securing the results against the big boys. Maybe Spurs are the team we can get a win against. Can we pull it off? Yes, we can. Suddenly, things are changing. I can't really find a reliable pullback at Spurs, so I'm thinking we should just get a center back and, you know, rock solidify that position. But Milan Skriniar, should we go for him? Ooh, but Christian Romero is younger. I think this makes more sense. I know you guys are thinking, why not Harry Kane? The truth is, we've got a couple of good strikers. Let's strengthen the positions we need to strengthen. With Christian Romero coming in, that's our defense even better. We also secured the win against Chelsea. There's a certain right back that I know is there at Chelsea that I want. Reese James, this is going to solve our fullback problem. With all of that, guys, we've now reached the end of the season, and it does look like we're getting a top half finish. Maybe a lot more than that. It's a top four finish for us. Oh my god, third in the Premier League with Sheffield United. I told you, this challenge, the way it works, if you start winning against the big clubs, you're gonna steal their players and slowly move up the table, and that's exactly what we've done. Our team is looking unbelievable, but next season, we're gonna have to go for the Premier League title. We're into our third season with Sheffield, and after stealing a ton of players, we've, I think, built a team that's more than good enough to win the Premier League. If we can just get that left back position sorted, I reckon we'll be good. We finished third last season. This season, I want to win the league. Do you know what? Let's already pick a target for the left back position. Let's see which player would be amazing for our team. Ooh, Cucurella. Stealing him from Chelsea would be nice. Jose Gaia wouldn't be too bad either. But Nuno Mendes, I think this is the play. We need to beat Newcastle United and steal Nuno Mendes. Ooh, this season's not going as well as the last one. We're dead in the league with 17 points. Honestly, it might be because we don't have a left back. We've now got the game against Newcastle United and we need to beat them. I need to steal Nuno Mendes from them no matter what. And let's go. We managed to beat them. Not gonna lie, this is a huge heist for us. With the signing of Nuno Mendes, our team was complete. And we made it almost to the end of the season. First in the league, but Manchester United was right there with us. And our next game is literally against Man United. I kid you not, this game's gonna decide the title. But you know what? I've got a plan. If we can somehow win this game, we can crush Manchester United. But the truth is, I'm not sure if we're good enough to beat them. Let's find out. The Premier League title's on the line and Gwende scores the winner. This is huge. And I'll tell you why this is huge because I'm gonna go ahead and steal Man United's only good goalkeeper. This is effectively gonna crush their title hopes. We didn't even need David De Gea, but we still stole him from United. And yes, indeed, the tactic work is we managed to win the Premier League with Sheffield. Three seasons and a lot of players stolen, but we got the job done. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me managing Luton Town in the Premier League. Click here to watch that.